I wonder if they're going to have, like, an NXT and, you know, they have the NXT going in vain. Because I'm not really sold on the Naomi, uh, Sasha Banks, you know, Tamina pairing, unless they're going to have Sasha Banks attack Naomi. You know, Naomi basically ripped off her gimmick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, yeah. you know, with the whole with the whole look. I mean, when Naomi first debuted that, I'm like, okay, is she trying to irritate Sasha Banks? <laughs> you know, to no end because I mean, you saw the light up boots, and the goggles, and all that. And I'm like, or the glasses. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> what are they doing here? I mean, like, what in the world? Um, I don't know. I mean, that's, I don't. I don't know. What about yeah? Because I don't think Paige is gonna win the title. I don't think Paige will. Well, the thing is, is that currently there's no Divas match announced for the pay per view, unless I missed something, and unless oh, they really? announced. Oh, really? They didn't even. Book, I thought they booked Paige versus Naomi. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if they booked Paige versus Naomi. Oh, maybe they did. I have no idea. I don't think so. As of right now, I haven't or heard Paige, anything. Or, but... or, or Paige Nikki, I meant not Paige Naomi. Paige Nikki. Yeah, yeah. It's well, just... well, that that begs the question: it, because they have not yet booked a match for the pay per view, do you think that's the match that they might book for the show? I would. Because you know, Paige like three chances. I mean, you know, include, or three, four chances of raw. And this is even before Mania. She's got a number of chances. Mm-hmm. I just would be very surprised. I mean, I know. I think you saw the report that Nikki has a shoulder. Yeah, I yep. think it would be ridiculous to not have her work a match. They've got enough tag teams, you know, enough tag team matches to protect her. Pushing it to 300 or 3, it was 305 for AJ, wasn't it? I think she was at the... I think AJ was 295. Was it 295? Okay, I could I, I think so. Remember. I'm not sure. I, th- I, think you, I, I think you're right, but um, it would just be ridiculous for Nikki to hold it for another, it'd be another three months at least, or yeah. close to it. To break that, I think it's if she's got a separated shoulder. If I'm not mistaken, I think from what someone mapped it out, I think it's the Monday. I want to say before Night of Champions. So you're right; that's about two months from now. Yeah, it's about two months. It's just it's like I, I'm not. I, you you know me from dark talking to me on Twitter for years. I am not the biggest fan of the belt. I don't <laughs> hate. I don't hate Nikki. Yeah. I don't hate Bree. Neither of them can really talk. Nikki has improved in the ring. But still, like last night when she was on the mic, I'm like, "Good Nikki, don't no, just just shut up, don't talk, do not talk, <laughs> yeah. don't talk, just go out there and show your improved ring skills." No, I agree. But I agree. I I mean, it's just, but if she if she's got the separation where she cannot hold the title for another two months, it's ridiculous. It brings down the Divas division to me. I'm not saying that she hasn't been good foil for the Divas, but. It has gone on long enough. We don't need a near two, a near one year title reign. We don't need it. Not with Nikki. When I'm just going to come right out and say, I know why she has the title. Everybody else knows why she has the title. Yep. Team Bella fans will not say why Nikki <laughs> has the title, or they'll or they'll blow it up. Because again, look, there, there's a reason. Were they sorely missed when they left? right after Extreme Rules 2012? I wouldn't say I so. No. I didn't even notice they were gone. <laughs> and then when they came, they came back, they were teamed up with uh, Sandow and Rhodes for no reason. And yeah. then that match was thrown off of Mania and Nikki had her shin injury and I was hoping that she would come back because I, I don't... But when she got the title, I was like, okay, she'll lose the title soon. I'm like, okay, Let's just bury AJ. All right, we're we're upset at AJ because her man left because the doctor doesn't know how to treat injuries. <laughs> and it's just since then, now I just think it's ridiculous. I but like you said, I when I think about the battleground card, I don't think that there is a match scheduled. I think that's kind of ridiculous. I'm not saying all the NXT women should be involved. I mean, if I remember right, Becky Lynch just said on NXT recently she had like a hip flexor or hip type of uh, injury. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So maybe she shouldn't be, like, wrestling just yet, unless, unless it was just, like, you know, a strain and she's able to come back soon. But, like, Charlotte, I think you build the... If it worked me, I don't know about Battleground, unless you want to throw Paige Nikki there. But I think you got to build the Charlotte Nikki at uh, SummerSlam. 
Yeah, Paige has gotten... I, I like Paige, but she's gotten so many chances at that title. Since WrestleMania, like you said, it's been crazy. This year alone. So I think keeping her out of the yeah. title picture for right now would be fine. But, you know, what do you book in the meantime? Maybe you do... I don't know, maybe like an eight diva battle royal and the winner faces Nikki for the title at SummerSlam. That's one thing you can do, I guess, right? That's probably, I mean, I don't think they'll do that a battle royal, they could. I mean, I think that'd be kind of a stupid one to just throw it together all of a sudden, especially if they tried to announce it on SmackDown because, I mean, and I know you, I know you are SmackDown for your reviews and other people do also. SmackDown has been direct outside of a few matches on a few shows for a while. I haven't even watched it since February. Mm-hmm. So it wouldn't have been, it would have been great to, for Stephanie to announce the, bat, the Battle Royal, like you said. Just announce it. Boom. Okay, this is what we're going to have a battleground. But they didn't announce it. Mm-hmm. It was ridiculous. They've had, and, exactly. Well, they've had uh-huh. five weeks to build to this show. You know, they, they, since, what was the last show? Money in the Bank. They've had five weeks from then to now to book a match for the women, which is fine. They booked a lot of other matches like Rollins and Lesnar and um, the tag team title match Reigns. and Owens and Cena, Reigns and Wyatt were all announced pretty much about a month ago. But yeah, the Divas match, if there is going to be one, they should have done it Monday. I absolutely agree. I think waiting until SmackDown at the latest um, is too little too late. They might not have them wrestle at all. They just might do a segment, but um, um, they didn't really make anything clear last night. 